Hello, this is Flippy Exploring and Adventuring with Lewis. Today we're coming to you from the Hershey Dairy Township Historical Society and Museum. And we'll be going inside and exploring this museum. It's not a very large museum, so we should be able to get through this really quick. But it details a lot of the local history here in Derry Township and in the Hershey area. So you know what to do. Let's go inside and see what they have. So as you can see there's the sign and right here as you can see is an old trolley stop building circa 1930 it's closed so you can't go inside but you can look through the window there's nothing in there but this is what um what one of the trolley stops would have looked like in town here and it was on originally on hotel road which is up that way if you see the building up there that's I think that's the Hershey Hotel right over there and the Hershey Gardens are over there I, I'm putting out a video for that so be on the lookout for it for Hershey Gardens as well I'm trying to cover more of the Hershey area as you can see Ben, the brothers, and beyond, from bars to bears, stone before chocolate. So we'll see you and go inside. Okay. Have to find out where the. Uh, well, can I help you? Well, have a. Pardon me? Have a. A group on here for oh, a group on, yeah. Oh, okay. Now I have to. <laughs> All right, there you stop. go. Okay, okay. Well, hold on. Let me see. Okay, I don't know if it was there. Did now, it take it? Now it did. Now it did. All done. Okay, so okay. that's all I have to do. That's all you have to do. Yes, okay. you just go walk around and see what you like to see. And okay. Enjoy. Thank you. If you have any questions, there's a gal back there in that room. She'll, she'll say oh, she was back there. Anyway, okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And I guess these are people who have contributed, donated. So welcome to the uh, Derry Township Historical Society here. And apparently they're not... And then here's stuff from the local buildings here. Brownstone products. So they did stonework first, originally, before any kind of chocolate that was in. <laughs> so you can see some of the buildings that they made stuff here for. Hummelstown Brownstone Company making bricks. Wow, amazing. Before there was chocolate, there was stone. So, wow. Almost down Mouson Company operating from 16 1860 to 1929. Was the largest brownstone mining operation in the state. Mining 4 million cubic yards of brownstone from five quarries in Derry Township. Immigrants from Europe and the American South came to work in the quarries along with their families. Settled Derry Township and helped build a world famous chocolate company. <laughs> Eventually. Wow. Beautiful. I'm going to have to take pictures once I'm done. Oh, this is the discover room, but right now I think it might be a little closed. Well, they make improvements. There's some type of diorama there, which would a train. 
future so okay there's the restrooms and I guess I'm supposed to go the other way <laughs> behind it some of the local history wow. dairy before Hershey so this is a a local map of what it looked like before it became uh, dairy township I mean beco be before it became Hershey itself but it was always known as uh, Derry Township. Reading, writing, arithmetic. <laughs> Give you an idea. Wow. Stoverdale Farm. Wow, look at that cold toboggan right there. That is neat. How the work was done. Yep. Now these would have been on the wall of the home or something. Shows you. And if you're not familiar with this gentleman, he's a favorite son here of of Hershey, and it's Major Dick Quinters. And if you haven't seen the movie Band of Brothers, it's based on his life as well. Dick Winters, in his own words, you press a number. Oh, it's a little video. Can I help you with anything? No, I'm pretty much finding my way around. Okay. If I have any questions, they told me to see you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if, if these buttons, you yeah, can watch the watch. monitor there. Yep. And, uh, awesome. That it's all of this. Have you seen Band of Brothers? Yes, I have okay. seen Band of Brothers. Well, that's that's Major Winner, Winners, Winners right there. Yeah. And he narrates this. Oh, wow. Neat. When did he pass? Um, about uh, maybe four years ago. Well, I thought that was like pretty cute. Still pretty. Yeah, these are authentic pictures, by the way. And yeah. that's his voice narrating. Wow, them. awesome. And his writing of Band of Brothers. He wrote Band of Brothers in his mind that was to be a small film before he wrote his D Day book, which he's been doing research and interviews for for many years. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not, but I'm not going to kind of show too much. Was, uh, so, this is going to be a new display here it's coming soon as you can see it's going to be a new permanent exhibit here and as you read on the billboard that's what is going to be in there and then there was a town called Hershey and like I said let's continue back wow welcome to major winners den so this was actually in his own home while well, he was writing uh, Band of Brothers. Oh wow, awesome. The guy he was with, uh, 80, uh, 82nd Airborne, oh, 101st Airborne. That's the 101st Airborne patch. Paratroopers. 
Look at all the awards she has. Wow. That is amazing. 506 Airborne. Purple Heart. Bronze Star. The Cross. Wow. National Defense Service Ribbon. A lot of all of these I don't recognize. I would have to go look at. Oh, this is the one you get when you leave basic training. That's that one I know. Army Service Ribbon. I, I have that. The rest of them I don't recognize so much. Most of them are World War II. Wow. Awesome. I have that actually. And th these were the original oak leaves before they turned them into little tiny clusters. Wow, awesome. There's his actual dog tag. Richard Winters. And these are service bars. Yeah, see there's the oak leaf cluster right there. Schwarzkopf, Colin Powell, wow, and I'm not sure who the other two up there, Wayne Downing, and I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to read who it is, uh, Brigadier General something, another Powell. 506 Infantry, and there's the streams, streamers, and there's actual pictures of the real Dick Winners and then the actor who played Dick Winners, Richard Winners, Great Memorabilia. It's, I believe, open from 10 to 3. I was going to tell you that uh, this card right here, if you look at this card, it will tell you what everything in this room yes. is. For instance, number one is that flag right yep. there. So it will tell you the significance okay. of that flag. Right. So everything in here is yeah. numbered. Right. That's and it. so that will explain a okay. lot that you probably wouldn't so know what... Uh, yeah, I know what because I was in the military, so. Yeah. Were you in the military? <laughs> yep. What were you in? U.S. Army. Oh, the Army? Mm -hmm. My husband was a Marine. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, all of these maps are the yeah. different battles wow. that were fought. Cool. And uh, if you've seen Band of Brothers, Brothers yeah. you know that these maps are for that. Wow. There's the guide on. 506 guide on. Mm-hmm. There's the unit, unit flag. Wow. This is uh, the man that, this is Major Winners, Winters, but and the, that's the, the actor. guy that played Major yep, Winners in the in film series. In the movie, series. yeah. I was just talking to my camera about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, feel free to take your pictures. Yeah. Wow. Amazing guy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you have one of these when you were in? That's an M1 Garand. M1, yeah, I have <laughs> one of those. That's an M1 Garand. No, that was M16. <laughs> yeah. They phased those out in the late 80s, I think, mid 80s. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Some units were. I know well, my old unit was still training with them oh, but really? then they switched over to the yeah. m16 um my husband uh bought his i mean he had he used one when he was in the yep. yeah. and up there's a monitor that has some of the hockey games oh wow hershey bears well they were called the hershey bars mm -hmm. <laughs> back then wow Oh, that's at the, 
at Hershey, is that Hershey Gardens up there? Looks like Hershey Gardens up there because there's the big gazebo that's right there in the middle. No, it can't be because that's the building behind it. So wow. sorry. That's over. I mean, it's going to be asking for records for any other projects. <laughs> gave me the list. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're working on the building uh, to do that display, so uh, the workers uh, are still uh, here. Uh, Mitch Lamoureux. Ralph Keller, Duquesne Gardens, drop the puck. Some of the old hockey gear. Eleven Calder Cups. And I'll take more of it. Arena Ice Resurfacer. Wow, used prior to the invention of the Zamboni. So this is the original Zamboni right here. You're looking at it before the Zamboni. <laughs> Such a simple contraption here. And just a 55 gallon drum. Well, probably not a 55, maybe a 30 gallon. Um, yeah, it could be a 55. Mounted on a just a cart here. Wow. And as you can see, there's pictures of. Some of the places that are either here or gone. A lot of them are gone, she says. Like stuff in the actual park. <laughs> yeah, they would get into brawls with <laughs> with some of the people attending the game, I heard. It's crazy. And if you haven't checked it out already... At his founder's hall over at the Hershey School. My niece and my nephew, my niece graduated from there already. Uh, she's, I believe, in her fourth year at, at um, Kutztown. And my nephew will be graduating this year, I believe. We'll be graduating soon. And if you have, like I said, if you haven't seen it already, I've been to the uh, State Police Museum, so check out that video. I love that ceremonial helmet. That thing is awesome. And I got, I, I put pictures of, I got to play around with the different headgear and, <laughs> and then this is the, uh, this is over here. There's going to be stuff about um, Penn State Hershey on this end here. There's still a lot of work in progress. First organized police force. Wow. That's another place I want to do go Cornwall. Yeah, as the lady explained, um, and I was watching a video over there when I did the Hershey story, there were a lot of Italian Im immigrants that came here originally to do the st stonework, to deal with the stonework, but once the, um, once the, uh, the factory opened, a lot of them quickly took jobs with Mr. Hershey's company. So as you can see, in Lavoro, La Religione, that's like, it's like Spanish for me, La Familia, the family, in Cibo, cooking, kitchen, a lot of Italian centered around that and then here's some some of the stuff from the Italian community here wow and then 
here's what it looks like if from the 60s map represent current and past Italian businesses and residences throughout the town of Hershey. As you can see, the core concentrates of business and family focus on two primary areas, the tower station and in the village between the streets of Arriba and Caracas and Coco to Orchard. And it shows you a lot of the main buildings and stuff like that that were in the town. Wow. And see, so you can see the... Uh, where they mark where all the all the actual businesses were at. And it shows you Hershey Park, the original park, what it looked like back then. I mean, back from the 1920s and stuff. La Cucina, the kitchen. Swatara. There's their offices. And there's more stuff here. More of seven principles of success from Major Dick Granger. That is probably different. This should have yeah, these these book series is starting to become very popular now. Harrisburg in World War Two. The on Band of Brothers, Band of Brothers. Conversation with Dick Winters, and then this is their little gift shop. Oh man, look at all those Hershey kisses! So we'll walk around, talk here with bars to bears, books, local authors, and then it's about Hershey itself. Excuse me. Front of Hershey Trolley. seen in the um, Hershey Story Museum these ba <laughs> these are bathtubs they would transport the hot chocolate in from one part of the building to the other one and then dump they would dump it into other vats or whatever things like that if, from what I remember reading <coughs> a poster of the Hershey Park ballroom when it was operational oh okay that's what she was talking about right here. When you first come in here, is the uh, this is the very building we're standing in here. It's the white building right here. Um, or is it the the house? Yeah, this is the, the very building we're standing in. Is the white one? This is now the uh, museum here. The historical society is here. The house is no longer there, and the other part is no longer there. Wow. Things, wrapping paper, balls, and then there's where I just came in. So this can. This is the exterior of the barn we just saw as we were leaving out the front door there. Like I said, it's not a very m big museum, but it just has a lot of the local stuff here. How this started out more as being a, brownstown, a, a brownstone industry. And then uh, obviously Mr. Hershey made it famous. 
and its favorite son, Major Dick Winters. Um, they had a nice display about his stuff and everything. She mentioned that uh, there was uh, another building on the to my left here where they're building those apartments now. So, and all the way around the back side, there's a um, like a little area where you can. Uh, I'm just gonna walk around the building here really quick. Like a little courtyard, I believe is what what she called it. So they have special events. And you can see there's the original Hershey factory. Right there. Those are the silos where they would I think store with the beans or maybe even the milk, I'm not sure. I can't remember. And you can see a little glimpse of the park and the kissing tower is all the way up on the top. The parking is taken up front. Let's come to the back here of the courtyard. I was up there. I didn't bother to come down because it's mostly um, a conference room. Okay, here's part of that building that she was talking about. It's still here. Part of that building we saw in there is still here. But here's the, the back side of it. Obviously, it's been modernized, and they usually have uh, parties and events and educational stuff as well here. But uh, it is available for rent, from what she mentioned. And it's the beautiful little fountain here. feature sponsored by the, the Futo family. <coughs> and there's the famous Hershey stacks. Well, while checking out this beautiful fire pit here and I looked and I saw this little sign here and this is the milk house. So this is probably the one of the original milk houses for this building and have such a beautiful little fire pit area, hangout area here. And let's see what else is sponsored by here, by different families. So the f left fire pit sitting wall, the right fire pit sitting wall, so part of it, half one family, half the other family, the fire pit columns, that must be these guys right here, big boys, and the fire pit itself, so different families sponsored all these, just like over here. And I'm sure the the plantings over there. The flagstone bench. Hershey Entertainment and Resorts. The pavilion itself. Pinehurst. So let's see what those say over there loves the the lights the string of lights and then there's a little walkway around the back wall here and it continues over here string sitting wall sponsored in memory of governor george leader oh this this is what they're talking about oh wow 
beautiful back here. The mural. There's a mural back in there. It's hard to see. And the mural features this very building and if you look right over there that's that building right over there so we'll continue our little walk from the back of the uh, museum here pardon the construction noise right there they are doing some uh, landscaping work there and right across the way is the shops here tanger tanger outlet shops here at, at um hershey Try not to show the <laughs> license plates as much as possible. And I should have figured it out those two times. I did come here t two prior times, so. So this will conclude the video here from the Derry Township Historical Derry Town Hershey and Derry Township Historical Society Museum. And if you like content like this, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, but especially those views. Um, please increase your view time on my videos so they will help my channel out. Um, and like I always say, go create your own adventure. And I'm going to bid you do from here. And I'll see you at the next location. Bye.